Welcome everybody to another Japan tour video. Today we are in Nagano, uh, a great prefecture uh, to say the least. Uh, definitely uh, an interesting place, uh, very fun for uh, lots of activities as well uh, as famous for hosting the 1998 Olympics, uh, Winter Olympics that is. Uh, before we jump in, I just wanted to point out this person got a perfect score, but it took him 15 days, 9 hours, 39 minutes, and 22 seconds. I assume he probably left it open in uh, a tab somewhere and then completed it. I doubt he was actually playing for 15 days, but who knows? Anyways, uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, our regular time limit... Four minutes uh, we can move I've been playing some non-moving games so that's why my settings are a bit off but other than that let's just jump right into it uh, the obvious thing about Nagano lots of mountains uh, it's almost called uh they're actually called the Japanese Alps named after by some Europeans uh, when they came over uh, uh, several ridges of... I don't know if I can go through that gate or not. Maybe I can, actually. There's lots of signs, and I keep missing all of them. That's impossible to read. It is early in the morning today. Uh, i got some free time, but I don't know why my internet seems to be very slow. I might have to uh, restart my router after this. Is that a road sign? Sort of, but it doesn't really tell me anything. This is a road sign we really want right here. Um, Ueda Matsuida Komoro. So Nagano is in here. Matsumoto is only 37. We are on the 146, 143. We're not too far from this. 37 kilometers isn't that far. Uh, there's Ueda, which is further. Next, we find Komoro. Should be around here somewhere. The fact that I'm not seeing it may just. One of those things. Um, it's to the south. Ah, oh, okay. There's Komoro. Closer, only 26 kilometers from here. One 146. We're probably up in here somewhere. What's the other direction? Ooh, 146. A toll road to Shira Shirai Tono Taki. Falls. Taki means falls, so that's a duplicate of it. Kusatsu, a different Kusatsu than the one I'm familiar with. There's Shiraito. Oh, there's the fall split off. Oh, okay, so this is a few kilometers north. We must have started on this toll road here. Um, because as we go in... This is that weird split further up here, actually. And we started, I believe, on this toll road. Yes, because we went through this gate. Yep. Toll booth through the gate and a little ways down the road. I think that's it. That's where we are. Okay, so the toll booth there's a slight turn and then a big long straight and we start oh I don't know why did it zoom me all the way out that's weird um, something like that there we go 10 seconds left to spare oh what we were further down and we weren't even on the road according to Google good job 4986, not generous with points at all here. 
Um, area code for Nagano. 26, if we see it. I'll try to point it out for you all. Uh, which way should we go? Try to go downhill, I guess. Head into town. This map seems to be doing a little bit better. With loading times, at least. So Nagano is really interesting because there's like three parallel mountain ranges. Um, and you can see, if you climb up one, you can kind of see them all. Because um, you can see, look over the into the valleys. And so people kind of live in between these, these those ranges. Uh, lots of good fruit actually is grown. Uh, lots of grapes and berries seem to do pretty well. Uh, got a friend whose uh, family lives in Nagano and they have a a grape orchard, I guess you'd call it. It's not a farm, right? It's an orchard. Um, maybe it is a farm. I don't know. Um, and they do pretty well. Uh, edible grapes, not winery grapes. And uh, he, uncle, so parents have grapes, and then family members have blueberries. And this is this looks like Mekon oranges. Um, I love Misa Mekon. It's winter time. It's perfect. They're in season. We are seeing nothing. Okay. Um, shouldn't do this, but it has bitten me in the past. But we're gonna go the other way. I think Radox usually designs his maps to give you something. We saw absolutely nothing in that direction. It would tell us where we are. Nagano is all mountains, so that's not going to help us that, that we're, we've got a kind of mountainous, curvy road set up. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Um, Very small road, Nakayama and Bena. Well, we doubt we can find that. Finally see another car. That's probably a good sign. Oh, and then the nice big road. Oh, go back, go back. That's a good sign. 22, Naga Nakagawa Toyoka. It's small. Nagano is pretty long. Most of the cities, including the capital Nagano, are focused up here. Nakano, that's not what we want. huge too and it's long and I was like where is it and I just missed it there's 22 we were on a small little road we, we weren't even on the 22 we found the 22 we did good to maybe turn around because actually that would have been it and I don't even see those town names anywhere well there's Nakagawa but that's not even really a town that was pretty rough. Found a number with very little time to work with. Here we go. Ueda, she, something, Kokudo, 18. We know where Ueda is. There's Kokudo, 18. National Road, 18. There's our, uh, that's not our area code. That's not a 
long enough phone number. Hmm. Who else could do this non moving? I bet. Something she. We're not actually in Ue, though. We're in something. I forgot how to say that kanji. We're, we're close. That's what I should... We, we're close. We're not in that town, but we are close. No, and you want to definitely want to go south into... There's a bus stop very rural bus stop yeah we're, we're close but obviously we're in a smaller village here we go this might be a good clue 22nd and 45th fire stuff not division department not department maybe there's our 26 area code thinking we're gonna go back to the start and we're gonna just try to find there it is I think we're somewhere up in here there is okay that's something What was that name we found? There's that Tokyo something. This means Eastern large city. We had another sign. Where did it go? It had this coop on it. Um. We've got to be, because we have the road, unless the sign is for a store that's like super far away. I mean, we're in here somewhere, and I don't really know what else to look for. We could have tried to travel really far, but this village isn't very big. I'm going to run out of space very fast. See? Don't really want to spend my time out here because we're not really going to find anything. Yep, we were uh, a little bit further away, further out than I thought we were. Oh, there it is. Sak Saku. That's what I saw. I couldn't tell if we were in. If we were in a area in here or something but that was i would have probably put us in this city over here and that would have got us a couple thousand more points if i had looked a little bit further south but you know we were way out there yeah i should have known it was a she and the she's are big enough i can spot far enough away i should have maybe thought about that but Ugh, not quite about 2800 it's not bad. Ooh. Oh, it's an, it's a unofficial coverage. Great. Um, someone's hiking. You can tell it's not Google. Lus Elex. Appreciate it, man. I have to let Radox know he's got a some bad coverage in his in his map. Um, this is a good view of some good hiking in Nagano in the winter. 
All these trees and snow are making it very hard to... So the, our goal is to... Oh, I don't think we can even get out of here. So our goal might be to try to find his car. There might be a sign... Oh, like this. Um, chi nani shi, chi something chi. I think it's close to Ueda again. Yeah, Chikuma. We're in some hiking outside of Chikuma. That was a really good click. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'm pretty sure that saved us. Um. Chikuma Kesatsu Police. Go Sato Sato Sato? Go Sato Zato? It might be a mountain, something big enough to spot. Does he just he maybe was recording? I don't know if he's recording a famous hike or just his hike or what, but might be off this road here somewhere. The Kitayama Sen Northern Road. So go to the north of town, but we get into Nagano Shi if we go their way. It says west. That says western stuff. Sometimes it could be way far away too. Yeah, that's Nagano Shi, so we're getting into a different city. Nagano Shi. I spent way too much time looking at that map. It's a little confusing because it's like we're on some mountain road. We're, on, we're not on a road, right? We're at, we had a trekker location, so I gotta try to figure out where the trekker could be. Thought maybe I could deduce it, but not with the information I had so far. Uh, the other interesting thing about Nagano is that because it's been called the Japanese Alps, lots of the mountain resorts are, have a very Swiss or Alpine feel to them. European architecture, um, they were just copied from those uh, famous resorts or images of famous resorts in Japan. Yeah. We're seeing the city name a lot, but we know we're not in the city. We're on the other side of the... It was a sign for the Shinkansen line. I didn't even think about that. The kanji quite isn't right, but the sen is a train line. We were tucked. See, this is the thing. Like, we think we're way out in the middle of nowhere, but we're actually tucked right in between a city in this mountain, this little ridge here. And yeah, where his where he was trekking didn't even have any kind of marking on it. Oh, there's. We might have been able to find that, but I doubt it. We crossed the Shinkansen line. I don't believe we did, but maybe we did. Oh, we did see this kanji. This trail. This is, must have been what he hiked. Um, but apparently we were way over there. Um, not bad. Wrong side of the city. Uh, but that was a good kind of jump off of it onto a road. It saved us, so... Okay, into round five, not doing very good. We're way off our normal score. Usually close to 20,000. Not even gonna reach maybe Le Petit Marche? Okay. Oh, there's a bus. 
E something. There's an E. E na. There. To say there's E na, and that I think is the kanji for the city. We might have just pulled off a. Of, that's not. I wouldn't say a miracle, but that's a. My brain worked in this round. <laughs> Not to say there should be a city with that name. I didn't recognize the the second character, but I recognized the first, and sure enough, that bus station. Ina bus, Shinyama something Gucci. Hmm. It's gonna be way too small to be able to see though. Oh, unless it's Shinyama something. That's a post office. Okay, well, let's keep going. Let's not make the same mistake we always make and just look at the map for forever. Uh, I think we want to. I don't know which road is the better road to go on. I think the road that's better paved might be the one to take. Nice, maybe early fall colors? Late fall colors? It's hard to tell. People always talk about the, the Sakura in Japan, about you know, their be how beautiful they are and how fast they disappear. Um, but the fall leaves in Japan are almost exactly the same. They're unbelievably beautiful cover everything and they don't last very long uh they're height for maybe a couple days in some parts of the city they can all f you know fall uh within a within a week within a couple days sometimes depending on the the weather so if, if you can't quite make it for sakura season i highly recommend uh, autumn as well great great colors shinyama yeah we just found this post office this is the post office we're at holy crap okay now we came we, we've been traveling north so probably out here North and then what? We have been traveling north. We we came onto this road. Okay. Road and then we went east. Why does it zoom out? a new thing. We a road and then we went east. And we went north. We might be back here in this loop. No, we were way over here actually. Okay. We traveled much further than, than I thought we did. It's probably a little bit too close, but I had no idea we were actually that far away. That was a little intersection we got lost in, but... Yeah, I think we found the mountain stuff over here, so I was thinking we were further... We were actually closer than we were, but... Not bad, 4-6! I mean, that was a pretty lucky, like, I think I see this character somewhere. It's actually a big enough city to recognize, which is great. Uh, yeah, let's take a view at the, the summary and the game breakdown. 16,000, probably our, one of our worst games in a while. Um, but, you know, overall, not too disappointing. One really bad guess. Uh, this was our other pretty bad guess. Uh, where's round four? Cross town, yeah. Almost pinpointing. That's a little frustrating that we didn't actually get a 5k on that. And this was just... I didn't have enough with enough time, unfortunately. Um, didn't see enough. 
But yeah, actually we're outside of uh, Lida, which is actually another major city in Nagano. So very good spread near the Nagano uh, city itself, Ueda, another major city. Um, this nice location, Mount Asayama. Asama. Added an extra sound in there, my bad. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, so that's Nagano. Very long and big. Uh, very mountainous. Uh, so you can't really use m mountain or no mountains to help you like you can in uh, Tochigi or uh, Saitama or Kanagawa or Chiba or something. Uh, but you can uh, use some pretty good city names that will pop up quite a bit. Um, uh, you can use those. Uh, and maybe some major roads. Uh, the E18, E52, 19 running through it. And a couple major cities can help you decide if you're in the northern part. Nagano's capital is actually way north. Most of the big cities are clustered to the north. So if you're in a sort of urban area, go that direction. If not, uh, maybe try to look a little further south. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.